funds from criminal activity. All right. At that point, at that point, everything was fine. But then you 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 had a unscrupulous uh, ADA or DA. I'm I'm not familiar with with all the fine points of, of the case, but he went in and and uh, used that that uh, house for for personal gain. He might as well have stole stole it. He might as well have stole the money. Shame on him and prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law. But don't 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 say all uh, all the uh, law enforcement. Don't say the the asset forfeiture uh, uh, process is is wrong because of it. There wasn't anything wrong with the asset forfeiture process. I'll get to you in just a minute, sir. Uh, there wasn't anything wrong with the asset forfeiture process. It was that crook they had uh, in, in in a position to uh, uh, to take advantage of it and. Uh, he 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 took advantage of the asset after it had went through the process, been forfeited by the courts, had all the due process that the judge uh, forfeited it to law enforcement. That crook allegedly, I, again, I'm not familiar enough with, with it to to, uh, to to give you all the fine de details on it, but uh, if if he took and. Uh, took advantage uh, of his position, that would have been any different than, than a, a, a law enforcement officer going out and uh, stopping a vehicle and doing what the, the, the senator's accusing us of, of doing, stopping the vehicle, taking money out and putting it in our pocket. Shame on anybody that would do that. Shame on anybody that, that would tarnish the, 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 their badge. Shame on anybody that, that, that would uh, uh, betray the, the trust uh, and faith that you, you you people have or should have in, in, in law enforcement. But that's what the, the undersheriff was trying to say. It wasn't the asset forfeiture process. It was that that, that person, if he did that, he, it made him a crook. And uh, it's no different than, than the, the three uh, 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 senators that in the back of that uh, uh, handout I, I gave you. There, there's some bad apples in in, uh, in in every bunch. Very, very, very few uh, bad apples. But we don't discard the, the, the whole program, the whole uh, process because of a few bad apples. Uh, we, we, we know as uh, uh, human beings that there's only one person that ever walked this earth that was perfect and we crucified him. Don't don't crucify this program just because we got a few bad apples in it. No more than than you crucify the legislature because of the uh, uh, the, the, the the senators and, and and the representatives that have uh, uh, committed crimes within the legislature. That doesn't mean mean our legislative process. No more than that ADA, if that's what you want to call him. I call him a crook. But no more than he he makes the whole asset forfeiture uh, process better. Okay, Randy, let's <coughs> stop here and take some questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I told this gentleman back here. I'll get to him in just a minute. Question. Chris, if you would come on up, I'm going to let you guys be a human shield for each other. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first question I want to ask you, do you understand that you are swimming in shark-infested waters today? <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> let, let me do this. Neil, I'm going to ask you if you would stand up. Neil is a former police officer. How many former military vets do we have in here? Please stand up. Please stand up. Okay. How, many, how many wives of veterans are in this room? Would you please stand up? Wives of veterans. How many had children? Go ahead and stand up, Linda. Your husband's a veteran. He's standing over you. You have to stand with him. How many of you have children who are, who are vets or are currently serving? Please stand up. How many of you have parents who served in the military, uh, in, the, in, in, in probably law enforcement, fire department, anything? Okay. That's the room. Thank you, guys. You can sit down. So you are, you are swimming with the diamond in, in the, the thorns. These are the guys that... What are you doing standing up? Okay. Oath takers. We're all oath takers. There you go. But these, these are the ones who, 
when we're law enforcement people, they they don't jump on the law enforcement every time somebody something goes wrong. So if you understand that from the get go, we're going to take some questions. And I'm going to ask you to keep these to questions, please. Uh, if you start to make a long political statement, I'm going to take the microphone and walk away and go to the next person. We're taking questions right now. Please give your first name. Stand up, please. Well, my first name is Dave. Uh, and you mentioned a few minutes ago the you called that individual who uh, took advantage of the, the seized house as unscrupulous, I think was your term. Uh, but there was nothing wrong with the process. If the process sent those seized items elsewhere to any other agency or to any other account, be it the general fund or whatever, you would eliminate the, the desire or the incentive for law enforcement, be it the, the, the top sheriff's hypos, as well as the DAs, to, to uh, find a way or to find uses for that kind of... Make a question, please. Yeah, make a quick make a question. I, I, I was working on that, but if you're not going to let me talk about that's all right. Ask a question. That's, that's okay, let, let, let me answer his ask question. question. Let, let me answer his question. And, okay. and I understand, sir, what you're getting at. It would eliminate the, the uh, portion of the process by uh, sending the assets to the state for it to be uh, unscrupulously uh, handled by local... Uh, uh, Authorities, sir. We, we, I'm, I'm trying to answer answer what. I was you, never you, actually able you, to you, ask you, my question. You made a good. And what's really strange to me is that we can have this group, and I've been telling this group for quite a while. But I'm actually not able to ask. Okay, we're done with this. Please, uh, we're done. Talk, somebody have a question? Okay, so you, we have a question here. Well, sir, okay. This I'm, is I'm a question, ahead. please. I'm gonna finish answering that question, whether he's here or not. He 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 posed it, like it needs to be uh, okay, uh, addressed. Okay, uh, Irregardless, if, if the assets were to go to the state, is the state perfect? Uh, I've, I've showed you that uh, uh, the state's not perfect. Uh, it, it could be it could be uh, handled unscrupulously by by crooks just as easily at the state level as it is the law enforcement uh, local level, and. The, who 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 better to to get the funds from the drug cartels and fund the uh, programs with than than the law enforcement that's out there actually doing the job? But sure that whether you're on the local level or whether or not uh, it goes to the state, it's still going to be uh, those funds are still going to be available to be misused. Uh, it's just di different set of people. Okay, I just want everybody to understand, we didn't just make the rules up today. This is the way High Noon operates. When we have a special guest come in, we allow that guest to make their speech, and then we ask them questions. If you want to make a speech, apply to Bob or me, and we'll set up the time that you can have a platform, and then we'll ask you questions. But in all fairness, when we have a special guest, we ask questions. So this is you, you ask us your question. Okay, uh, can cops lie to make a case? Can they lie to make a case? Yes. Not a not a good cop, no. Lie to who? To anybody. Sure. It, it, uh, it, that, that's on your question. What do you no, mean? the Supreme Court ruled that the police can lie to make a case. Oh, can we can we lie to trick, suspects? Trick, can, can we whatever trick you want to call it suspects? Yeah. Can, can we go? You're talking about entrapment. I'm talking about entrapment. Yeah. That's that's it's legal. That's, legal for cop to do that. That's where you guys lost the case. Let him answer, okay? Yeah. That's where you guys lost it with the American public. Go ahead and answer the question, please. Thank you. The, the, the courts have ruled in order for uh, law enforcement to, majority of the time, work undercover to be effective in a lot of the, 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 uh, uh, the programs they have, the, the drug uh, task force uh, working undercover in drugs. You, we no, want to see, I'm talking see about I'm talking about the Q. blue lady officer, Manchester. you know, police Please. officer come right up to you. Please leave me okay. To, 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 in order to uh, uh, prosecute and, and find uh, uh, the, the guilty party and uh, everybody's guilty. Uh, prostitution, uh, uh, burglaries, uh, can, can you in the, and I'll, I'll go back to the, the example, working undercover, representing yourself 
in terms of uh, uh, somebody that you're not. Uh, yes, they, they've they've upheld that the, the, the same as uh, uh, law uh, uh, an accepted practice in, in any other area of law enforcement. Okay, another question. I'd, I'd like to make a comment. Go ahead. You know, we're really involved in Quit internet crimes. In Everybody, I don't know if y'all know or not, but the sheriff's really big into internet crimes against children. We have a special task force. We get a lot of child predators. Uh, we arrested one just last week, and I was visiting with uh, Lieutenant Adam Flowers, who's the, the main investigator on that. And we made the arrest, and during the text messages and the email conversation, the man asked if he was a police officer. And he said no, because his his uh, internet profile was a 14-year-old Mustang girl. And as the guy got closer, he's getting closer and closer coming to meet, he says, are you sure you're not a police officer? And is it legal for him to lie and tell him? Yes, it's the same as the undercover narcotics guy that grows long hair and a beard, and he's buying dope from, from that people. Okay, now, when I'm in my uniform, and I'm doing with the public up front. No, it's unacceptable to lie to you. But it's you, legal. You know who I am. I know who you are. We're dealing with things that are up front. Traffic violations, rape calls, whatever the case may be. There, there's no deception there. You're, that's the reason that you have a uniform and a badge on. Okay, It's honesty, integrity, character, morality, all those things. But when you start going into undercover operations and dealing with criminal activities such as internet crimes against children, protecting our youth, yes, it is lawful. Yes, it is. Ah, you, 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 you can you lie in that uniform? If you have another question, raise your hand and I'll come back. You're done for now. Yeah. Jim. Yeah, I'm done. Sheriff, my name is Jim. Thank you for being here today. Uh, sir, is it possible for you to say, of all the monies that your kind of that your department spends during a, a year, fiscal year, what percentage comes from ad valorem taxes in your county? What percentage comes from, let's say, federal grants or what other sources and what percentage comes through this system of forfeiture process? Of a six and a half million dollar budget, approximately five and a five and a half billion of that to five and three quarters million of that comes from Avalon taxes. That leaves approximately three quarters of a million dollars that uh, I supplement out of my cash funds to run my office with. Out of that three quarters of a million dollars to sometimes over a million, sometimes I think last year it was like nine hundred thousand that that uh, the, the county uh, ad valorem taxes fell short, uh, and uh, I, I needed about another uh, nine hundred thousand last year to, to run the jail in my office with. Uh, those come out of the, the sheriff's cash funds and. Uh, those cash funds are derived from a lot of different places, serving papers at $50 a paper, uh, uh, citations, I think we get 15, all of $15 for a citation, state gets the rest of that. And uh, the, uh, our, our commissary program at the jail where an where, uh, uh, inmate uh, buys a, a candy bar, he gives a, he, he gives a dollar for it. Uh, we, we, we might get 40% of it. Uh, they make a telephone call. Uh, if uh, they, they pay a dollar for the telephone call, we get 60 cents of it. Uh, our asset forfeitures, uh, they, they uh, have averaged, since I've been sheriff, approximately 400,000 a year. So you can see how yeah, much of that, that, that deficit uh, is made up from asset forfeitures. But let me let me say this, and I'll, I'll make this statement, and I'm proud to stand here flat-footedly and tell you uh, this: I'll take all the drug cartel money I can get, mm -hmm. and I, I, for every dollar I take, it saves you a dollar's worth of tax uh, pay, payers' dollars. For for er, er, every dollar of theirs I I take, I use it against them, and uh, that that cuts them.